hello everyone i hope you all are doing well so today in this video i am going to discuss about the cut off ranks for different iits through iit jam biotechnology exam now the ranks i will be discussing is of the year 2025 uh, i am taking the ranks as a reference and i will be discussing about what should be the safe rank now uh, for getting admission through iit jam biotechnology exam there are five iits which offer different courses through iit jam biotechnology exam mm, iit bombay offers msc in biotechnology iit delhi offers msc in biological science uh, iit roorkee offers msc in bioscience and bioengineering iit indore offers msc biotechnology and iit dharwad offers msc molecular medicine now iit dharwad is a new iit and i think from the year 2025 this iit is open for biological science students uh, which offer seats through, IIT, seats through IIT jam biotechnology exam and IIT indoor also offers uh, MSc biotechnology program through uh, GAT B exam and students entering through GAT B exam will get a stipend of 5000 per month but there is no such stipend for uh, students entering through IIT jam exam now uh, for IIT Bombay uh, the ranks one thing to mention the ranks I am discussing is the uh, result of the fourth round of counseling so after you qualify the IIT jam exam you fill the form for counseling and after one month or so the result of the first round of counseling comes and many students get their desired IIT but many does not join the IIT because they might be getting uh, seats in other institutes like IISC or NCBS or different TIFR or NBRC or other institutes uh, and they does not join IIT and therefore the seats remain, uh, remain vacant and uh, the seats are filled during the second round of counselling and Similarly, there are uh, almost 3 to 4 round of counselling and these are the cut off marks of the 4th round of counselling. So, you can consider is, uh, it as the uh, like minimum cut off ranks or lowest rank uh, of the students who got chance in this particular IITs. So, for general category the rank was like 25, uh, for general EWS it was 94 and for OBC NCL it was 88. Uh, for SC category it was 7, uh, it was 373 and for S ST category it was 1153, uh, for general PWD it was 830. So, these are the cut off ranks of the fourth round, round of counselling at IIT Bombay for uh, MSc biotechnology program. Now, let us discuss about IIT Delhi, uh, students generally keep IIT Bombay as their first preference and IIT Delhi as their second preference. Uh, so, at IIT Delhi, uh, for general category, the cut off uh, rank was 30, for general EWS it was 115, for OBC NCL it was 110, for SC category it was 340, for ST category it was 274 and for general PWD category it was not mentioned in the website. So, these are the ranks of the fourth round of counselling uh, for MSc Biological Science at IIT Delhi. Uh, now, for IIT Roorkee. For IIT Roorkee for general category the fourth round of counselling result uh, was published and the cut off rank for general category was 56, for general EWS it was 122, for OBC NCL it was 219, for SC category it was uh, 674 and for ST category it was 1376. Now, for IIT Indoor. IIT Indoor offers MSc in Biotechnology and for general category the cut off rank was 65, for general EWS it was 191, for OBC NCL it was 153, for SC category it was 591, for ST category it was 1296 and for general PWD it was uh, 5581. Uh, now the last IIT that is IIT Dharwad. Uh, for general category the cut off was uh, 84, the program is MSc in molecular medicine, for general EWS it was 304, for OBC NCL it was 238, for SC category it was 207, for ST category it was 675 and for general PWD it was 2098, around 3000. So, uh, to discuss about the 
like safe rank i would say if you are from general category you should target a rank uh, within top 60 or 70 then you will uh, there is a higher chance that you will get your uh, get at least any of the iits but for getting top iits like iit bombay or iit delhi uh, you should have a rank within top 30 or so uh, for general ews category you, your rank should be within top 150 or 180 then you will definitely get an iit if you are from obc ncl category your rank rank should be within 150 or 200 then you will get uh, an iit uh, for sc category uh, if your rank is below 300 then you will definitely get an iit for st category uh, 400 to 450 rank is generally safe sometimes students of uh, like higher rank also get an iit but uh, <coughs> to be confident about getting an iit you should target a rank uh, below 400 or 450 now these are the ranks if you ask me about the marks what should be your marks uh, it highly varies for to give an example uh, for general category uh, students uh, who got a marks around 50 this year, uh, 50 within 100, uh, got an IIT, uh, top IIT or IIT Rurki or so. But uh, for the last year, 2024, the students, uh, general category students who even scored above than 65 or 68 or even 70 uh, could not get an IIT because the question paper was easier than this year. So, this highly varies. But if you are from general category, you should like target. Uh, a marks of around 70 uh, if the paper becomes tough then everyone will score low right so but you should target a uh, score of 65 to 70 at least uh, for obc ncl category or general ews category you should also target a marks around 60 at least uh, for scst category uh, like 50 or something like 50 ranks would be safe i think but also this also varies uh, depending on the difficulty level of the question, the number of students appearing, the number of seats offered by different institutes. So I hope I have uh, discussed uh, all the major things and thank you everyone uh, for your support uh, and thank you again.